Welcome back to BG24 Public Affairs. I'm here with Erlene Kilpatrick, the Executive Director for the BG Chamber of Commerce. Great to have you here today. Thank you, what a great opportunity. Well, I just wanna thank you for coming. First, we're just gonna start, jump right into this, all right? I'm like so excited for this, okay? <laughs> all right, so. Very good. Exactly what is the Chamber of Commerce? Well, we're a nonprofit organization mm -hmm. that is, our, our whole mission is to empower the local business community. All right. And we do that through a variety of, pro of products and services, and we have four main components. One is networking, there's leadership, mm -hmm. advocacy, and education. And all of those are geared towards improving the business uh, in our community. All right. And I know that you are the executive director, so what exactly is your role here for the Chamber of Commerce? Well, as the uh, executive director, mm -hmm. um, I work with 15 project teams, day-to-day mm -hmm. um, -day operation of a business office, um, serve and respond to a board of 29 individuals that are a cross-section of the community. Um, and again, it goes back to following those four main components. So all the programming we do, the events, everything goes back to how can we improve and connect business. All right, that sounds great. And how long have you been with the Chamber of Commerce? I have been there for ooh, six years, October. Um, and before that, 10 years as the Main Street Director in downtown BG. Oh, okay. And so what does the Chamber of Commerce give back to the community? Well, number one, I think by our uh, programming, we're here to help businesses uh, learn more about how they can improve their bottom line. We try to attract and retain business as well. So both of those elements are adding to the economic development value of our community. Quality of life entails, uh, well, our office oversees the holiday parade, mm -hmm. as well as the uh, 4th of July fireworks. So uh, we do those particular events to give back to the community. But again, everything that we do comes back to business improvement, which ends up adding to the coffers for the city uh, in regards to tax. And of course, those taxes are used to provide city services for all of us to enjoy. Right. And you said that you all did the BG fireworks, correct? Yes. Um, and how about how that that is something that happens every year. Um, so how do you all set that up? Like how do you all prepare for that? <laughs> it's a lot of work and a lot of partnerships. And and we do have oh at least twenty some partnerships throughout the year. Uh, City of Bowling Green, BGSU, BGSU Athletic Department. Uh, we all come together, and the chamber uh, raises the funds. Uh, through community support, business support, individual citizens support this particular event, numerous meetings um, and coordination between the city and the university to actually have the event. And then of course we have the uh, Bowling Green Area Community Band that provides a uh, uh, concert pre-event. All right, that is a lot of work. So let's talk about some of the upcoming events that you have all going on in the next week or two. Um, some of the events you have are Dancing with BG Stars. Another event is Lunch and Learn, Yikes, Speaking in Front, Albert Rother. What can we expect from those two events that are coming up? Well, um, we do have Dancing with the Stars Saturday night, Claisel Theater. Mm -hmm. Again, another great supporter of the chamber. Um, we have, I believe it's 17 some dancers that are partnering uh, as a couple or with individuals provided by Julie's Dance Studio okay. or by the Beat Dance Company. It's a fundraiser uh, to watch these BG celebrities um, dance oh. and uh, the proceeds are earmarked for the Bowling Green High School Athletic Department. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular event has been brought forward by our ACT BG group, which is one of our project teams. Uh, and they are considered our younger professionals, but they'll still allow old photo does like me in. So that's a good thing. Mm, BG stars, I don't, I don't remember getting a call about that. Uh, so I'm gonna have my people call your <laughs> people I, about that. They didn't that. let me in to dance either, so. <laughs> uh, so what do you all bring to BG's college campus? Um, I hope mm -hmm. that we bring the connection between the business community and BGSU. Right. I know we benefit tremendously. Mm -hmm. Our businesses, which we call investors, our members are investors, we benefit tremendously from the campus, not only in the economic development realm, but also the, the um, reciprocal learning experience between students and our businesses and the chamber. Uh, what does that mean? Practicums, internships, co-ops. Um, I'm uh, learning more and more about technology and trying to keep up with social media uh, through our students. And in return, they're learning how to organize, plan, market, PR, 
political science, meeting business owners, connecting themselves to the community as well. All right, and that's probably almost that all that we have going on for today. So thank you so much for being here with us, Erlene. It's been a pleasure having you on today's show. When we come back, Ajante Hall will be here with Samantha Kuzmik from the Falcon Swing Society. Stay tuned. <laughs>